guys out there struggling right now, trying to figure out how to get it all done, maybe you got kids, you got a marriage, you got a job, you're being underpaid probably. I was underpaid most of my life. And you're struggling, maybe you got bad credit. Look, I've been there. This morning I'm in uh, Mykonos, Greece. This is our eighth country in three and a half weeks. 25 years old, if you'd have asked me, hey man, you think you ought to be traveling the world and making money while you're gone? I'm like, dude, there's no way. I could barely, I could barely make a $175 a month rent check. I was literally late two out of three months. So here's the deal. This is not, success is not for special people. It is for people that do special things though. And it is for people that actually have a list of things they don't do. So what I want to share with you here is, I put this shirt back on, man, but it's nasty. I mean, it's nasty. They didn't wash it and I put it on this morning. It's just like ranky. So <clears throat> here's the deal. Um, I want to give you, I want to tell you what I would do differently if I was talking to my 25 year old self. What would I do different? What would I not do? If I was 25 years old again, starting over from where I am right now. Now, considering that I'm 60 years old, 61 years old today, not today, but 61 years old, uh, own 14 little companies. They'll do about 150 million bucks this year. I don't know, it might do more than that. I own a, a $1.2 billion worth of real estate that's growing every 60 days. We're adding new assets. We've raised $200 million in the last 20 months. I'm telling you all that because just 25 years ago, nobody trusted me. I couldn't borrow somebody's car, literally. I couldn't borrow my mother's car, okay? She would be worried about when I would return, if I would return. I remember my mom was in the hospital. I was 24 years old. My mom was in the hospital. This is how bad a shape I was in. My sister was out of town. She said, you need to go there. She's got 104 degree fever. You gotta make sure you're there at four o'clock this afternoon because Diane was leaving. And, and I said, yeah, I'll be there. And I didn't show up. I was unreliable, undependable, untrustworthy. I didn't trust myself, didn't love myself, didn't care for myself. My self-esteem was below this floor. It was awful. I could not imagine that I would be trusted with somebody's home for a week in Greece. All their equipment, their kitchen, their chef, their, the, the, the help they provide here, their property, security at night. I mean, these people have been amazing to us. Okay, why? Because people trust me today. So number one, I would tell my 25 year old self, dude, do whatever you have to do to make sure you don't ruin your name. You have to be the most dependable person anybody knows. Starting with yourself, you have to be the person you depend on, okay? So if smoking weed on the weekends or drinking or having hangovers or hanging out with those people, like makes you feel less about yourself, less you have less trust for yourself, you gotta knock those things off. When this is done, maybe make a list no, no, make a list. Don't maybe. Make a list of things that you need to knock off that destroy your own personal sense of trust in yourself. This is a big thing that I did when I was 25. I started doing whatever I told somebody I would do, I was going to do. If I told you I was going to punch you in the mouth, I'd punch you in the mouth right then. Okay, if I told you I was going to be there at 4 o'clock, I'd be there early. If I told you uh, I was going to stay late. I would stay late. Whatever it was, I started building trust back within myself because the reality is nobody was going to trust me. I had destroyed so much trust and respect with others and told them over and over again, oh, it's, it's going to be different this time. So old 25-year-old Grant, rebuild the trust you have in yourself and keep doing that until other people start saying, hey, you changed. You're different now. And that, heart, that started happening literally within about three to six months of me starting to make that commitment to say, hey, I'm gonna start rebuilding my own personal trust in myself. My personal self-esteem came up. I wasn't using drugs anymore. I wasn't using alcohol anymore. I wasn't going out on the weekends. I was working when my friends were playing. Brings me to the second thing. Old 25-year-old self, hey Grant, little, little Grant, dude, you don't know it, bro, but you're gonna be super successful one day if you do one thing, one thing for the next 10, 15, 20 years. Okay? Don't get weak on the weekends. Weekend, weekend. You know, a guy told me once, he's like, the weekends weaken. Okay, weekends were killers for me. Friday night, Saturday, and Sunday were destroyed the rest of my week. Literally three days of the week, 
which represent what well, I don't know what is that three into seven seven into three that's about forty percent of my week forty percent sixty percent of my week by production my entire production capability the sixty percent was destroyed by destroyed by that forty percent time off Friday night Saturday night Sunday night time off is when I noticed that I was spending all my money and wasting all my time listen to what I just said time off was when all people by the way not just me all people spend their money in their time off and waste their time time and money time and money successful people are not successful because they're special they're successful because they utilize time and money so number one okay build your self-respect number two whatever that means by the way maybe drugs don't bother you they bothered me alcohol bothered me okay it gave me hangovers i had to recover two and three hours the next day so it's not a moral issue. It's about whether you can, you can get yourself in a situation where you can start being super successful. I'm in Mykonos, Greece, man. This weekend, this trip by itself will cost, I don't know, what do you think, Elena? 80? Oh, maybe 100 right now. Every time she goes into the shop, bang, she dings me. But I want to be able to take care of her. I don't want to worry about what she spent over there or what we spent uh, uh, at, the, at, the, at, the, uh, at the restaurant. Brings me to the third thing, okay? <clears throat> Don't spend money on dumb stuff. 25 years old, keep this in mind, for 35 years, I didn't spend one penny on alcohol, not one penny on drugs. Literally, what I was saving, about, I, wasn't sp I wasn't doing dumb stuff on the weekends, I wasn't wrecking cars and getting in trouble, I wasn't having to hire lawyers. I didn't waste any money for 25 years on dumb stuff. You know, when you don't drink, you don't gamble. People that drink, gamble. They take risks they would never ever take, right? They don't show up when they needed to. The next day when they do show up, they show up with a hangover. None of that happened to me for 25 years. Forget making money, forget adding skills, forget getting talented. The fact that I was no longer destroying myself, my self-worth, my respect, I wasn't making mistakes, wasn't getting in car wrecks, wasn't having to hire lawyers, wasn't, wasn't having to be thrown in jail. None of that was happening for 25 years. If you can just stay out of trouble, be a wild man, but stay out of trouble. If you could just do that, I guarantee you that would be successful, okay? And keep in mind, I wasn't wasting money. That means I'm not wasting money on drugs and alcohol and bad decisions and bad people and uh, the, the VIP bottles and trips last minute. Oh, let's go to Vegas this weekend. We can't afford it, but let's do it. To be, life is to be lived. You only have one life. That's what my friends were saying to me. And they were sucking me down the vortex of destruction. So <clears throat> imagine if you spent the next five or 10 years not wasting money on. This is the hard part now. This is number four. Watches, cars, trips, and bullshit. I wasn't spending money on any of that stuff. My friends were going on trips to Greece for three days. I said, dude, I, I, don't, I haven't earned that trip yet. Okay? I'm not going to Greece for three days because I haven't earned the right to go to Greece for three days. Now I just finished. I'm on my fourth week. Rome, Bucharest. I'm just telling you the upside. If you pay the price today and don't do the bullshit, little Grant. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to little Grant. Okay? If you don't do the dumb shit right now, I, I went to Rome, Bucharest, Dubai. Let's see if I missed one. Singapore, Malaysia. Thailand, the Maldives, and now Mykonos. Okay, one day I'm going to go spend a month or two on that yacht right there. I guarantee you I'm going to spend a month or two on that yacht. It's all going to be paid out of passive income. Passive income, cash flow. Okay, I made a decision at 25 not to spend any money out of earned money. Like if you can get this wrapped around your head. You know, I think Elon Musk, when he sold PayPal, he took the 80 billion, the 80, what, what did he get out of that deal? Do you remember? You know the story about this? Whatever the number was, he took 80% uh, uh, of that money and threw it in Tesla, 20% of it threw it in, uh, in the solar company, and 10% threw it in the other venture, the, 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 the boring SpaceX. company. Yeah, uh, SpaceX, okay? Some, some variation of that. And had to borrow money to rent. See, this is what the super successful do. They go all in. Okay, so 25 years old, I made a decision until I have extra money, so much extra money that I don't have to worry about living. I don't have to worry about food. I don't have to worry about bills. I don't have to worry about emergencies. I'm not going to invest any of that money. And when I do invest it, it's going to go into something that will produce more cash flow for me. 
for 25 years. This is what people don't know about. You guys hear me ranting, having fun, throwing bunch of stuff on the internet. What you don't know, what you didn't see was the 25 years of me just stacking cash, waiting to find the right vehicle to invest that money in. If you've been following my story, you know what that vehicle is for me, okay? It's real estate, produces extra cash flow, so I don't have to go work. I don't earn money and spend it. I earn money and keep it. And when there's enough of that earned money left over, I take that money and I don't spend it, I invest it into bricks, into hard properties, assets, real assets, that throw off more money. Not like this place. This place is stupid that I'm staying in. It's 10 grand a night, 11 grand a night to live here. Okay, plus, plus, plus. So, I would never, ever in the first 25 years of my career spend my money on this place. I didn't do that until I had enough passive income Go ahead, Ryan. Just blow it out. Blow it out. Ryan's sneezing back there. Okay? And this is exactly what Ryan's doing. Okay? Ryan's probably sneezing right now because he's like, dude, if I can just do this for 25 years, he's 35. At 50, I guarantee you he'll be wealthier than I am. That's what he told me the other night anyway. Okay? So, so what are you going to do? What are you going to do? What are you going to do about this? I mean, this video is all great. The views are awesome. Look at this. Look at this shot down here, Ryan. Can you show this? Look at this. But what are you going to do? What are you gonna do because you heard the video? Are you just gonna go pop on another YouTube video? You're gonna run into the next guy that's gonna tell you <clears throat> that everybody that has a plane and a, and a Rolls and, and showing you their trips is a fake? Dude, this ain't fake, you can't fake this. People don't let you use a house to shoot a video in. Okay, you guys been watching my stories, okay? You saw that we were in Dubai. Like, you can't fake this, you can't fake a jet. There's some things you can't fake. now. You can, you can go rent a jet and take a photo in front of it, but it's not gonna be there tomorrow and the next day and the third day and the fifth day and the 10th day, right? So what are you gonna do now? You're just gonna go watch another video. Maybe the next guy's gonna tell you, you don't need all this stuff, it's not possible, whatever. I don't know, it's gonna create confusion for you if you do that. I'm gonna bring you to number six thing that I did that really changed my life. I quit listening to everybody. I picked a couple people and studied them. I'm like, I want those people. Those are, the, those are the kind of people I want to learn from. Those people weren't shallow people. They didn't have a little bit of content. These people had done TV interviews, written books, done uh, uh, radio interviews. They had a lifetime, I, not three or four years showing up on the scene, boom, all of a sudden they're, they're successful people. These were people that had 30 and 40 years of being successful. And they weren't in the same industry I was in. I'm gonna tell you, it's really important. You guys quit studying people that are just in your industry. Maybe you start studying people that are outside your industry and see how, see how what they're saying fits to your industry. Okay, Warren Buffett was one of those people. You probably want to know who those people are. I mentioned Musk. I've studied Musk quite a bit. Okay, there's some things I agree with him and some things I don't. But I'm very similar to him because he's got a big mouth. Okay, he's very opinionated because he knows the system is rigged against the little guy. Okay, both those two guys, both those two guys, Warren. Warren, Warren is politically correct. He knows how to say everything to everybody. What? Elon, Elon's just going to say what he thinks because he, 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 knows, he knows there's things you and I just don't know to be true. Okay, so what are you going to take away from this? I'd love to know below. If you haven't turned your notifications on, a little bell, bell, bell rings, can you get a notification? I dropped a video, drop a new video every couple days. Great content here. Please subscribe to the channel if you like what I'm saying. If you got a comment, you think this is not real? I know there's going to be 52 people. Every video I do, there'll be 52 people. They give me the thumbs down. That's good, man. If you're going to give me the thumbs down, I dare you I dare at least have a real face on your avatar, bitch. Because <laughs> you won't. You won't. All you trolls. All you trolls. You, you will not put your face because you ugly. Trolls are all ugly. Okay? Dare you put your face, troll. <laughs> okay? And, and look, man, if you hate this lifestyle, well, good. Why don't you do this? Since you hate it so much, why don't you create it and give it away to somebody else that will love it? Because there's plenty of people that could benefit from this lifestyle. I know my little girl's benefiting right now. Scarlett, are you having fun on this trip? Yeah. How much fun have you had? What's your favorite place, man, buddy? Here. Yeah, that, that's what she said when she was in the Maldives and before that in Thailand. And then when she was on the camel in Dubai, she was tripping out, losing her mind. What'd you call the camel anyway? 
Jafar was his name. Okay, she's been tripping the whole time. I forgot what his name was. I'm gonna go get Bella and bring her down. Okay, she's got a dog at this place. So look, if you don't think all this is for you, let's just call that code for you quit. How would you know if it's for you? Old little Grant at 25 years old. If I'd have told my family, this is the life I wanted, they'd have said, you don't need all that. Those are people that have quit on their dreams and possibilities and potential. You don't need to, okay? Please post your comments below. Don't quit on your potential. Don't quit on possibility. I am an ordinary, everyday guy. I am not special, but I have done some special things to give me a special life. Hope you find the same thing.